evening, Code Monkeys. I have really, really been enjoying all of the discussion that has been taking place so far in regards to this whole readitfirst.com thing that I talked about very, very briefly yesterday. I just got done watching Matt Guyon's video on the subject, and I do have more thoughts on this that I would like to share, but I'm going to wait until tomorrow, until after I've had some time to, you know, formulate my opinions a little bit better so I can put them a little bit more eloquently. Instead, I'm going to talk about something with a little bit more levity. We're going to discuss, once again, the subject of punishments. Punishments! I've seen some really great suggestions so far for Matt, and I've seen some really good suggestions so far for Jethro, but I haven't really seen a whole lot of good suggestions for me. And I think it's due to a general failure of a lot of my subscribers to understand what it is that I find punishing. So I'm going to give you a few little hints and tips to maybe get things rolling so you can come up with some better, more sadistic punishments for me. Number one is something fairly straightforward. You guys may recall that in my review of The Little Mermaid 2, I claimed to be a Kaburophobe. And that is true. That was not a joke, that was not a bit. I am deathly afraid of crustaceans. So maybe you could use that fact in some way. Number two, I think I should let you guys know something that some of you might think I would find punishing, but I would not. My friend Alicia, book 5204, suggested that I should have to do a Disney Direct DVD review where I have to pretend it's the greatest movie I've ever seen and I must sing its praises. Again, I see where you're coming from with this punishment, but it's not really something that I would find all that punishing. I'd probably probably enjoy it a fair bit, and it's even the kind of thing that I would do for like an April Fool's Day video or something like that. And generally, if a punishment is something that I would ordinarily do willingly, then it probably shouldn't be used as a punishment. Thing number three that you should know about me, I really, really don't like to have to spend money. Now when I say that, I'm not talking about spending large amounts of money because frankly, I don't really have large amounts of money to spend. But really, anytime I have to spend more than $25 on anything, it starts to hurt. That is something that you could use. Thing number four you should know about me, I am much, much more confident on camera than I generally am in my real life. The person I am on camera is pretty much the same person who I am in real life, but that is only true when I'm around people with whom I am comfortable. Around perfect strangers, however, I am generally a little bit more awkward, especially if the thing I am doing at the time happens to be kind of out of the ordinary. So those are four things that you now know about me that you could use to come up with some pretty effective punishment suggestions, and I would like to share with you one that I actually think is pretty good. YouTube user BetaRayBrad91 offered this suggestion for a punishment that I should have to stand outside a store of some kind dressed as William Riker from Star Trek and ask people to sign a petition legalizing Romulan ale. This punishment works on two different levels. Number one, I would have to get a Starfleet uniform. That would require spending money and I hate spending money. And also it would be punishing because it would force me to interact with complete strangers while pretending to be a character from Star Trek. Which, let's admit, is kind of a socially awkward situation unless we're talking about Halloween or a convention or something like that. So things that involve costumes and public humiliation, probably not a bad idea. But now let's move on to the subject of challenges. <laughs> Heidi challenged me to find and review a soda called Cheerwine. Um, I accept that challenge. I will try to find it. To the best of my knowledge, it's not at the specialty store at which I normally get sodas, but I will try to locate some. And I have also completed Matt Guyon's trailer challenge, so let's play that right now. I'm not the sort of guy that stuff usually happens to.
I like the way that turned out. How about you? In fact, I thought this challenge was so much fun that I don't want Matt to be deprived of it. So very soon, for Matt and for anyone else who may want to participate in this, I will be making a video of my own consisting of clips that you are allowed to use for this trailer challenge. I look forward to seeing what you all come up with. So until then, Code Monkeys, I will see you tomorrow. Thank you.